All right, we're starting this thing, guys. So over the next couple of months, I plan to use YouTube not only to keep sharing more um, educational videos, but also to share my personal journey. I want to share with you, with you guys um, as I go through and try to come up and figure out what is really going on with my body. Um, I have had rheumatoid arthritis for many years. I was diagnosed in college. I'm 33 now. I was diagnosed when I was, I think, 22, so over 10 years. And over those years, I have taken numerous drugs to try to help. Um, I am lucky that I have put it in remission before. It's not in remission now, um, but I have in the past. And I don't have a terrible, terrible case of it. However, over the past few years, I cannot help but think that some of the other health issues I'm now having stemming with my gut and with um, some other hormonal things cannot be from some of this medication I've taken over the years. And I wanna figure out what the root cause is. The more I hear about autoimmune diseases and their relationship to gut and health and relating to that and how bacterial overgrowth or certain things stemming in the gut can cause leaky gut and in turn cause things to leak into our bodies and our immune system to where our immune system attacks different areas, i.e. autoimmune diseases. So in my case, my immune system likes to go after my joints and I have done my best. I am someone in the fitness and health world. That's what I do for a living. And it's really frustrating when you try to do so much right and then you are still suffering or, I'm not suffering, let me rephrase that, or going through stuff to where you're just constantly having some ailment. And that is literally what I feel like. And I feel like a hypocrite because of that. So it's time for me to really take this next step of something that I've wanted to do for a while and get the testing done. I recently did um, a GI test that I had to send off to a lab that looks literally at everything. And then I've also done a lot of blood work last week to really look at all my hormones, my cortisol, stress, adrenals, all that stuff because I just feel like I am not well. And there are things that I could be doing naturally versus taking medications that are just shutting my immune system down in the long run and affecting my gut. I mean, I've taken prednisone numerous times. I've been on biologics pretty much for the past 10 years. Um, I was in remission for a short period of time, but biologics are basically, which are IVs, are basically a grade of chemotherapy drug. So it is really shutting my immune system, not shutting it down, but it makes me so susceptible to other diseases. So anytime I'm sick, which this past year, I've had more stomach crap literally go wrong. I was sick right after our wedding. I haven't been able to get the treatments as much. And I mean, that's okay, honestly, because I don't want to keep shutting my immune system. I keep saying shutting keep kicking my immune system down, but I also don't like feeling like I do right now. Like this shoulder is in so much pain during when I sleep and if I don't move it, I know that it is from my RA. Like I know what this feeling is like because my RA has always attacked my shoulders and my upper body more so than my lower body. Um, so with that said, I am really, really just hopeful for this and I want to share my journey with you guys over the next few months as I really dig in, find out what we can and go through some protocols with different um, drugs. Now I am actually going to get an infusion next week. I'm scheduled because I, it, I'm i supposed to get them every eight weeks, just FYI, and I've had two. It's two or three this year and it's September, so I haven't exactly been on point with that, but I've also been sick and you can't get your immune system kick it down even more when you're sick. So anyways, long story short, I'm getting one more and I'm hoping that 
It can be one of the last ones. And I'm gonna be working with Kristen from a place called Stat Wellness here in Atlanta. And I'll be sharing my journey with you guys. So I hope that as I do, it really can bring you some light into if you're going through something to maybe take that step. Hopefully some positive stuff comes from this and we can all learn together. All right? All right, guys, so here we go.